Today's hot news, a slap on the wrist that just changed the real estate landscape forever. More on that in a minute. Hi everybody, Joe Hilner with Your Home Soul Guaranteed Realty, where we guarantee the sale of your home or I'll buy it. Every week I share market data to keep you informed with the local real estate market. And here is this week's Boca Market Watch. First up, single family homes. This past week, 65 new listings, not bad, ranging in price from 330K to 39.5 million. Now that's a spicy meatball. 11 homes back on the market, while 61 homes listed took a price decrease and three sellers raised their asking price. And worse than the last couple of weeks, only 28 different properties under contract and 22 going pending. It's about the worst week I can remember. 47 homes unsuccessful in selling and taken off the market or expired outright. And that's the highest it's been in years. And another poor week for sales with 45 homes sold, ranging from 395K to 3.95 million. Next up, condos and townhomes. 78 new listings, pretty decent, ranging from 135 grand to 6 million. 15 units back on the market, 55 properties with a price decrease, and seven sellers with an increase. And another light week with 36 different properties under contract and just 26 going pending. 28 condos or townhomes unsuccessful in selling and taken off the market or expired. 60 closed sales this week, that's kind of a so-so week and ranging in price from 90K to 2.9 million. And here's what's making news right now. On Monday, the FTC announced that it was hitting Open Door, a national iBuyer, with a $62 million fine for allegedly tricking consumers. Open Door is an internet buyer of residential real estate operating all over the U.S. and right here in our area. Regulators with the Federal Trade Commission on Monday accused the iBuyer of cheating and tricking consumers. Their words. Open Door, of course, disagrees with the allegations, but has agreed to settle the case and pay the fine. Open Door, quote, pitched potential sellers using misleading and deceptive information that suggested they would make more money by selling to the iBuyer than they would on the open market. However, the statement adds, most people who sold to Open Door made thousands of dollars less than they would have selling their home using the traditional process. Samuel Levine, director of the FTC's uh, Bureau of Consumer Protection, added in the statement that, quote, Open Door promised to revolutionize the real estate market, but built its business using old-fashioned deception. There is nothing innovative about cheating consumers, he added. The statement goes on to cite Open Door marketing materials about consumer proceeds and argues that home sellers lost money thanks to below-market offers on homes and higher costs compared to using a traditional agent. The FTC also believes that Open Door misrepresented other facts, including that the company stated it makes money from fees when in fact it earns via buying low and selling high. Open Door agreed to stop deceiving potential home sellers and to stop making baseless claims. Wow! 62 million sounds like a hefty fine, but Open Door is sitting on two and a half billion dollars in cash so it amounts to a slap on the wrist. And worse, nobody's going to jail. But the plot thickens. As I've reported previously, last year Zillow closed its iBuyer segment that they called Zillow Offers. That failure cost them well over $400 million and they've just completed selling off all of the homes that they previously purchased. Well, get this, yesterday Zillow announced that it is forming a partnership with Opendoor. It will allow home sellers to request a purchase price right through the Zillow app. Zillow's on a quest to create a housing super app that will keep home sellers and buyers locked into their site without ever leaving. So if you've ever wondered if Zillow hasn't gotten too big already, I have news for you. They're just getting started. And by partnering, partnering with the unethical, if not outright criminal, corporate culture at Open Door, Who's to stand in their way? Food for thought. Okay, that's it for today. If you'd like some specific market data on your neighborhood, just send me a text or give us a call at 954-799-6867. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel and you like the info, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and the notifications icon bell below. 
Till next time, this is Joe Hilner with Your Home Soul Guaranteed Realty, signing off for now. Go serve big, everybody, and be nice to each other. And I'll see you next week.